The thing about living in this world is that it makes absolutely every one of us insane. One year ago today when we started, none of us thought we'd make it this far. Every day, waking up, staring at a ceiling of an apartment that you hate, to go to a job that you hate, considering what it is we could have done to make it all better. Maybe my parents were right. When my dad said I would never amount to anything, or my mom said that the key to success was getting that degree. Get the degree so that you can work in the field that you love, but try not to love anything too impractical. Because you have to remember, they're probably not hiring in that field. I spent five years relearning all the stuff I taught myself in high school. Learn everything you can in your field so someday some white, middle-class man can give you a piece of paper that will define you for the next 50 years of your life. I changed majors five times. I'm halfway to a degree in psychology, teaching, and theater tech. Give it everything you have. <laughs> Be confident. Believe in yourself. Stand up for yourself. <laughs> but not to anyone in authority. Don't rock the boat or jeopardize your career or jeopardize this job you're lucky to have. Remember, it's the job you have that pays for that tiny, disgusting apartment. Get a good job so you can buy yourself a nice house to put your wife and kids in. Never mind that I've always been terrified to have children since I've never had a single good example of parenting in my life. Well, that's not true. There were the parents from Easy A. You know, seeing my childhood, like, Kind of example what I make, I mean, come on, seriously. Look at me. Just remember, a good wife has to love all the things that you love. But still be smart and responsible and mature. And going to be a good mother for my grandkids. But you have to make sure they're the soulmates. It's very important for that. But stop being so picky. Isn't it time you settle down? You live in a college town, how can you possibly not have found that person yet? I suppose only being interested in confident, self-reliant girls who have real personality instead of just a hold insert your own into probably is my, my real problem here. Somewhere between the find a cure for feminism, shamanism my dad, and the all every man wants is sex, Tumblr feminism, there's probably a good balance on how to treat a girl. But examples are out of stock this century. I've always had the shocking notion, being raised by four older sisters and a single mom, left in my brain that you could try simply treating them as people. You feel like they appreciate that, at least. I guess that's better in theory than in practice. Everyone is so angry all of the time. Drive into work and see how many of those Christian fish magnets cut you off and then give you the middle finger. <laughs> we could discuss at great lengths about the Bible Belt. You know, we, we treat the dead like it is the... The ultimate failure. Suicide. Like it's the ultimate form of giving up. I would just, I would rather see a decaying corpse in a coffin than in a cubicle. I once heard a saying that sort of redefined my life. I once heard a saying that sort of redefined my life. I once heard a saying that sort of redefined my life. You know, it's the kind that gets stuck in your head and absolutely refuses to go away. You know the kind of thing that gets stuck in the back of your mind and absolutely refuses to go away? When the world gets bad enough, the good go crazy. But the smart, they go bad. Dan Harmon wrote that. Right before he got fired from the television show, he had given his blood, sweat, and tears to. To, to, to see become a reality. All over the ego of a beloved comedian who helped define 
most of my generation's childhoods. The really sad part is that being such an asshole that you intentionally destroy careers places him pretty high on the list when you have people like Bill Cosby and Woody Allen raping people. Since you've been scared of everything in your life, since daddy would smack you around like a kid, you prefer to hide away. <laughs> but we hide in fiction because the world is too insane to handle. Stories of all those things that you love in fiction, but, but abhor in reality. War. Murder. Sexual deviance. Every story only as good as its horrors. And every hero only as good as its villains. So where do we go when the world starts to destroy that fiction? When the world gets bad enough, the good go crazy. But smart? They go bad. Well, we have cops gunning down kids in the streets over toy BB guns or the color of their skin. Depression is viewed as a character flaw. If you're gay in my town, you have to hide it to be served a sandwich. And I remember reading about some guy who had a homeless dude's face off in Florida a while back. That was messed up. So I suppose we're there. We've always been smart. We've always been smart. We've always been smart. Now? We're the motherfucking villains.